हाउ टू फिक्स के बी फाइव जीरो फाइव थ्री फाइव नाइन एट जीरो एक्स एट डबल जीरो एफ जीरो एट वन एफ एर इन विंडो जी इलेवन हेलो फ्रेंड्स फॉलो द स्टेप्स स्टार्ट विथ इंस्टॉलिंग द अपडेट फ्रॉम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अपडेट कैटेलॉग गो टू द वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड क्लिक ऑन द लिंक टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अपडेट कैटेलॉग यू विल रीच दिस पेज हियर यू फाइंड थ्री फाइल्स टू डिटरमाइन विच वन इज सपोर्टिंग फॉर योर कंप्यूटर क्लिक ऑन स्टार्ट सिलेक्ट सेटिंग्स गो टू सिस्टम क्लिक ऑन अबाउट चेक सिस्टम टाइप दिस वन 64 bit operating system x64 based processor this file is supporting for x64 based processor click on download click on the links to download once downloaded click on the file explorer icon from the taskbar go to the downloads folder right click on the msa file kv5053598 select open follow the on screen instructions to complete the installation restart a couple of times and the windows update will be installed if it is not installed and showing any error then modify services click on search type services click on services look for windows update service this one right click on the windows update service select properties A startup type must be automatic here if it is not automatic on your computer click on this drop down select automatic service status must be running if it is not running then a start would be highlighted click on a start click on apply click on okay now look for app readiness service right click on this service select properties change the startup type to automatic click on the drop down select automatic select to start here click on apply click on okay right click on app readiness select restart do the same with background intelligent transfer service so right click on this service select properties change the startup type to automatic service status is running if it is not running click on start click on apply click on okay right click on the background intelligent transfer service select restart find cryptographic services this one right click on this service select properties a startup type must be automatic if it is not automatic select automatic from the drop down service status is running which is okay click on apply click on okay so restart this service right click and select close the services window and try to install the update click on start settings windows update and click on check for updates if kv5053606 is downloaded restart your computer to complete the installation you reset windows update components go to the video description and click on this link
this will download a zip file in your default browser click on the folder icon from the browser select extract all click on extract right click on w under reset 2.0.bat select run as administrator click on yes on the user account control pop up press any key to continue press any key to continue press any to continue again press any to to continue restart your computer and try to install the update you can also reset windows update components using these commands simply open the command prompt click on the search type cmd click on run as administrator yes copy the first line paste into the command prompt press enter copy the second line command prompt press enter copy the third line press enter in the same way run all these lines of commands close all the files and documents running on your computer and restart run system files checker and dism tools click on search type cmd right click on command prompt select run as administrator click on yes these are commands to repair system files and installation files copy the sfc scan now command paste it to the command prompt and hit enter copy the dism restore health command paste into the command prompt hit enter once completed close the command prompt close the other running tasks and restart your computer go to settings windows update and click on check for updates if any third party antivirus is installed the update uh, may show the error so check and uninstall it right click on start select installed apps find the third party antivirus if installed I have not installed any third party antivirus but I am showing an example here suppose this is third party antivirus then click on three dots click on uninstall again click on uninstall on the confirmation pop up yes if any uninstall wizard appears follow the on screen instructions repeat the same if another software is installed close the settings and then again restart your computer and after restarting check for updates if these methods don't work it means you will have to go to perform in place upgrade open a browser type windows 11 download Click on Windows 11 Download. 
you will click on this link located at the top go down in the download windows 11 disk image iso for x64 devices section click on this drop down select windows 11 uh, multi edition iso for x64 devices click on download now select the product language you will need to choose uh, a product language to make sure correct language is chosen here click on start settings time and language language and region windows display language this tells the product language english united states click on choose one drop down select english united states Click on confirm. Click on 64 bit download. After downloading is completed, again go to File Explorer, Download Solder, right click on the ISO file, download it just before, select Mount, click on Open. Right click on setup.exe file, select open, click on yes, uncheck the option I want to help make the installation better, click on next, click on accept. After checking for updates is 100% completed, you will find an option install. Click on that and wait for a while to complete the installation. That's all friends. Thanks for watching the video.